Welcome to the 2016 Candidates Forum brought to you by the Wallingford Community Women. I'm Jean McFarland, the program moderator. The program features the candidate running unopposed on the official ballot for state senator in the 34th senatorial district. During this segment, the format will permit the candidate to offer a statement. Now I'd like to introduce the candidate. He is Len Fazzano, Republican. Mr. Fazzano, will you begin, please? Thank you very much, and uh, first and foremost, thank you for inviting me and putting on these forums. I think they're very, very important. I'd like to thank the town of Wallingford for their support over the number of years that I've represented uh, the town of Wallingford and the entire 34th district. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve, and I look forward to doing so after the election of November 8th. This election is critical for the state of Connecticut. It's about a choice, and the choice is really simple. The question you have to ask yourself, over the last six years, has the last six years been the best years for the state of Connecticut? It's a very simple question. If you believe the last year, six years have not been the best years for the state of Connecticut, then you need to vote Republican. It's simple. If you believe the new economic reality that is talked about by the Democratic majority is a place where Connecticut should be, then you need to vote Democrat. If you believe Connecticut is better than this, if you believe Connecticut's got a better future for our children and for the youngsters and students to stay in this state, then you need to vote Republican. And I say that only because of this reason. We've had one party rule for six years. House and Senate chamber controlled by one party, governor controlled by one party. When you have budgets that the minority party is locked out of conversations, that's not healthy. We can agree to disagree, but when you don't have the conversation, it's fundamentally flawed. This is where I have the biggest problem. So we need to equalize the numbers. We need to get another voice heard up there, your voice. This state is terrifically situated between New York and Boston. We've got a great shoreline. We've got the best educated kids. We've got a state that's beautiful. And the answer we're getting back is the economy is bad. You got to deal with it. We lost 5,200 jobs last report. We're losing people, record numbers from this state. Our income is down. High income earners are leaving the state, being backfilled by low income. That's not a healthy economy. We're going to have a deficit this year. In the next two years, we have a $2.8 billion deficit we got to deal with. We need a better direction. This is a great state. We have a great future. We just need a different path. It's not about bad versus evil. It's not what it's about. It's about right path, wrong path. And we need to change the direction of the state. I look forward to your support on November 8th. I look forward to taking the challenges that are going to be presented to us next session. And I look forward to taking this state and making it a better, healthier, and economically rich state where education is number one, where people and constituents will thrive, and where prosperity in our economy means social services are put back to where they should be for our young kids and our adults, where fixed income people are not going to feel the crunch. That's what we need to do in the state of Connecticut. That's what we need to do here in Wallingford. And I appreciate your support and thank you for giving me the time. Thank you. This concludes the 34th Senatorial District portion of the 2016 Candidates Forum. On behalf of the Wallingford Community Women, I thank you for watching and remind you to vote on November 8th.